Hey, it's Sean and Mike, BrewDashTrues.com, and yes, I don't know if you follow this, but we talked to the jar. We talked to the jar of destiny. Every single style that's in the uh, BJCP style guidelines yep. is in this jar, except for the ones except we've, for the ones we've, we've already brewed. Right. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to put our hands in here, choose a style, and then we have... I don't know, two and a half months to basically brew it yep. and then we talk about it. One quarter worth of the calendar. Right? There you go. And there's some general rules, like we're staying away from our own wheelhouses. That's right. right? So if I pull out oatmeal stout, that's it out. Goes if back you pull like vanilla lager, that's out. Sorry. It'll go back in there, so maybe someone else would pull Maybe it, somebody else. Maybe you. That would be interesting. Maybe me. All right. So since I grabbed the jar first, I will choose first. All right. This is the moment of truth. We don't. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's a uh, German pills. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I mean, feel, is I feel that okay. in your wheelhouse or not in your wheelhouse? Not in my wheelhouse. I okay. want to do it better. Okay. So I'm German, down with that. Let's improve. So the, the, Let's improve. Uh, it's a 5D yep. out of the uh, pale bitter U European beer. German pills. Yes. 5D. Yep. All, All right. right. I'll take that. All right. You can do that. All right. All right. Let me, um, you've already stirred it, so I won't mess up the <laughs> microphone anymore than we need to. So the other thing we talked about before we rolled cameras, like if we get like a goose or something, like one of those really long, yeah. it's not going to work in a quarter. Maybe I'll, I'll keep it and just draw another one for the quarter. We'll okay. Just see what All happens. Right. Okay. Does that make sense? All right. All Let's right. see. This is, uh, oh, this one's going to have to, you tell me. This is a uh, 13C British Brown Beer English Porter. When was the last time you brewed an English porter? Though? I would say probably at least two years ago. I remember the very last one I brewed. I really loved it. Uh, throw it back. <laughs> the thing is, I was looking at my porter recipes just the other day going, I can brew a porter. So it doesn't mean I won't brew one anyway. We got to do something. <laughs> content. Content. All right. Here we go. Oh, boy. Um, all right. This is interesting. Possibly doable. 28A, um, this is American Wild Ale Brett beer. Yes. I think we'll roll with that. Can we I'll do? roll with that. Let's see what I can do can with we that. Do? See what I can do. I, if I get on it quick, we yes. can maybe get some Brett character in yes. like two months' time. I can tell you that like <laughs> the Belgian strong yep. blonde ale. Uh, yep. I I that was a challenge. It so. was a challenge, but I yeah. got... I got it started like yep. the week we picked. And there's no reason, too, that at some point in the future we can't bring a bottle of these things back anyway as like a tasting, right? To sure. be like, oh, now it's six months in, right? And see what's what does up. it taste like. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. So tell me what you know about German Pilsner. Like, what, what are your assumptions about well, German Pilsner? Well, it's a little hoppier than your typical Pilsner. I have tried to brew this before. Um, I, you have to be super, I don't know, super precise in your brewing practice it's got to be clean man yeah but you also have to just bring the spicy hops to the party right it's almost like it, it needs to be all the things that you want in a lager clean dry but with like a just a, a, a little bit more of a hoppy spiciness at the end um, maybe a little bit more mouthfeel but I'll have to read more about it, but like I just want to make sure that I can do it, yep. and like the, the, you know, the the German noble hops character comes through in the beer. Yeah, that's I think I think the the thing that's toughest toughest with that style, uh, outside of fermentation, like if you can do a lager, you can do a lager. Yeah. But the other aspect of which is tough is those hops that you want to use in there tend to be low alpha, so pushing it enough that you can get that quality you're talking about, but not getting too much green vegetal character, right? So there's a fine line there in terms of making that work. I feel confident. So, um, Brett. Brett beer. So, Brett. So, <laughs> there's a couple weird routes to go. Now, I don't know anything about this style per se, but there's going to be some cho tough choices made between a couple different Brett strains, or do I get one of those Brett mixes and just say, eh, well, you're right? About it. Um, but then the, then the question becomes like the base beer. Probably I'm thinking something that's more like a on the darker side of a pale ale, right? I think works well in this style as far as I know. I, don't, I know nothing about what kind of hop choices you would put into an American wild ale for Brett beer. 
Uh, it's probably a little bit open, depending on the bread choice you want to yeah. make, right? You could go earthy, whatever, with your hop choice and go to like a Brett Brux, right? Or you could go something a little more fruity, maybe go Brett Clausinii and try to amplify some tropical flavors. I don't know. This is going to take a little research, but I got to do research quick so I can make the beer and get that Brett going. Yeah. And the question too is it would be a two stage fermentation? Like, will I ferment a beer and then add Brett? Or will I add Brett and add, a primary yeast yeah. at the same time? Who or, knows? Um, and somehow, notoriously, Brett on its own actually ferments relatively clean, supposedly, hmm. in certain applications. So I have to do some research. But that's what I know about Brett beer. You're up for the challenge. I'm up for the challenge. I think you're going to do great. Super cool. Super cool. <laughs> Can't wait. You know, shouldn't the uh, BJCP have commercial yep. uh, advanced yep. uh, yep. uh, uh, yeah, yep. examples of this? So yep. hopefully there's something out there you can taste and be like, meh. Okay. Yeah, I and mean, this is not necessarily a sour beer either. This is no. a a Brett beer. It's going to yes. be like Belgian, -y and but with that Brett character, it's something different. Yeah. Right? So yeah, see what I can do. I have to look at the commercial examples and figure out where I'm supposed to be if landing. There's, if there's anything there. All right. Well, stay tuned. The the jar giveth. The so jar giveth. I don't think it takes it away because you know it just basically gives right. us the assignment, <laughs> and then we have to follow it. So stay tuned. Uh, sometime in June, we'll probably have more beer to drink and talk about. So um, appreciate you following along. And we'll uh, make sure that we put this in the playlist for all the Jar of Destiny beers. And then you can also follow along on our blog, brew-2s.com. So thanks for watching. Like this video if you, if you like it. Uh, subscribe to our channel. We are John and Mike. We are from brew-2s.com. And if we had beer, I would cheers you. But, you know, brew on. Cheers. <laughs> awesome.